Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about another section inside of Microsoft Excel called Worksheet Protection. And under this section, we talk about how to log cells in Excel and how to log some specific cells in Excel. All right. So today, in today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to log formulas in Excel with step by step guide. Okay. Excel formulas are easy to create and edit in Excel. You can easily edit a formula through a formula bar right here. You can see equal to sum uh, bracket V8 column E8 or you directly from the ins and directly inside the cell itself. If I double click on it, you can see I can likewise edit the formula inside this place as well. This is essentially, essentially make it convenient to create formulas in Excel. In other words, it comes with a few disadvantages as well. Okay, let's consider this scenario. You are going through a worksheet full of formulas, just rightly the one I have in front of me here, and you accidentally hit the delete key or backspace key or some other numbers or alphabet key. Now, you will be lucky if you are able to spot the errors and correct it. But if you are not, it may lead to some erroneous result. And let me tell you this. Errors in Nezer have caused millions to companies by not locking the formulas inside a worksheet or workbook. Okay? And the chances of such errors increases in multiple fold when you share such files with your colleagues or managers or clients at work. Okay, one of the ways to prevent this from happening is to lock the worksheet and all the cell. However, doing this will prevent the user from making any changes to the worksheet. For example. If you are sending a workbook to your managers for, for review, you may want to allow him to add his comments or change some cell. A better workaround to this is to lock only those cells that have formulas in it. Okay. Basically, this video tutorial will cover only how to lock formulas in Excel. All right. In my next video tutorial, I am going to show you how to hide formulas in Excel likewise so first step how to log formulas in Excel before I show you how to log formulas in Excel here are some something you, you must know okay by default all the cells are locked in Excel okay only when you protect the lock cell then you truly restrict the user from making changes Okay, this is also means that if a cell is not locked and you protect it, the user will be able to make changes. Okay, here are the steps to lock formulas in Excel. Okay, the first step is that you, you select all the cell and unlock it. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, also in my last video tutorial, that only the cells that are locked as well as protected can be truly be restricted. If all cells are locked and I have protected the entire worksheet, it will mean a user can change anything. Okay. Right now, I only want to lock or restrict access to the cells that have formula in it. Okay. To do this, we first need to unlock all the cells and then select the lock only those and select the lock only those cells that have formula in it okay here are the steps to unlock all the cells okay the first step is that you select all cells in the worksheet by holding on your keyboard shortcut key that is you hold on your control and key together control a and key together so um to highlight the entire worksheet okay you can see just hold on your control and a together so to highlight all the work this so okay now 
then the next step is that use you can use the keyboard shortcut key here by holding on control and one at the same time that is if you hold on control and one at the same time you can see it this will take you directly to the wall to the allied and format cell dialog box right here okay you can also follow the same process i used in my last video tutorial by going through the word home tab right here then you click on this small arrow and under the alignment section here to so also take you directly to work to the format cell okay let me follow this short short cut method okay by holding on your control and one together okay this will definitely also take you directly to the world to the world to the format cell dialog box okay and in the format cell dialog box select protection tab right here okay and uncheck the law button right here uncheck it okay and click on what okay okay by doing this hmm, now the next step is that you select all the set that have that have the formulas now now that you have all you have all you have all the set that have, have been unlocked hmm, right here we need to make sure that the set that have formulas are what are locked you can see it right here all the same that they have so and to do this we need to first select all the cell with formulas okay and here are the cell steps to select all the cell that have formula so the first step is that you select all the cell in the watch which i have rightly did here then you go to your home tab right here and within the edit group click you can see the edit group right here so you have series of um, ribbon on, under the edit group so you, there is a particular section here where you will find the word you see find and select okay click on it okay you see a draw down box here click on it okay now inside the this drop down box here, you go to special click on go to special okay and after that uh, under this go to special click on what formulas you can see the formula right here click on formula and click on what okay okay this will select the all the cell that have formulas in it you can see all the cell that have formula in it has been highlighted all these are the cell that have formula in it so there are cell there are formulas in this cell so by following this procedure it will enable us to highlight all the cells that have formula in it okay now the step three is that to lock the cell with formula itself now now that we have selected the cell with formula we need to go back and lock deals cell that is by enabling the one the lock property that we disable in our step one above okay and so once we do this the put uh, protecting the worksheet will lock these cells that have formula in it but not this not the other other cells please remember not the other cells you only lock the cell that have formula in it okay since the cell with formulas are already what selected right here okay okay you can now press or control you can hold on your control then and one together okay and this will definitely this will take it to what the format cell box or you can go through the word home tab likewise okay and in the format cell dialog box right here select the protection tab you can see it click on the protection tab okay then click on what and check the lock button right there click on it click okay and click on what okay good now it is now the right time to go to protect the, our worksheet now that we the lock property is enabled for cell with formulas and not for other cell protecting the entire worksheet will only restrict access to the cells with formula so now here are the steps to protect the worksheet itself so the if you still remember in my last video tutorial, the step I follow, the first step is to go to go to your review 
tab at the wall at the top here click on what review tab and in the protect sheet dialog box right here make sure okay click on the protect sheet dialog right here and make sure the option protect worksheet and content of log cell hmm? is check okay make sure this check and specify the password you want to use it to uh, you want to use it to protect let me put in input my password okay good now then click on ok you can you can then re-enter the password again okay and click on what okay good once you are done with the above four step I have introduced earlier all the cells that have formulas will be locked and the user won't be able to change anything in it and if the user try to change the cell he or she will get a prompt showing below just like you can see hmm, these are the cell that that file formula embedded in it so but other ones there is no protected so i can rightly edit it i can edit this one 30 to 140 or also but but why the one up uh, with formula embedded in it cannot be what edited okay you can see all this cannot be edited so they cannot be added because they have formulas embedded in so any users that come here to edit or tamper with want to tamper with any of these one cell to restrict so she start to do so so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye